Intuitive Insights. How y'all doing? Here to drop a fire video on what's up, YouTubers? Lovely YouTubers, how you doing? Well, you've seen the title. Big topic amongst our eh, free spirited generation, they call it, right? Adultery. He cheated on me. She cheated on me. What the heck? What is going on? Honey, I would like to do a, I would add, like to add a girl to our situation or add another guy to our situation. Possibly, what do they call it? Swing. Adultery. Right? Different segments of adultery that I just mentioned. Adding someone to your, to your union that you're supposed to have, right? Doing all these promiscuous things with others. Adultery hasn't happened to you. Has he or she cheated on you? I'm going to state something from the late great Samael Aoun Weor about true love. And I'm going to run it back. I'm going to put it on the rewind machine like I do. Right? If you are with your true love, your divine love, adultery cannot take place. It's literally impossible to cross that barrier because you know it shakes every fabric of you. Let's run it back. Samael Aun Wayor dubbed this statement. This is from him. Okay? Adultery and true love, they can't coexist. They can't coexist. Okay? Another thing that I want to mention is loveless relationships, loveless marriages are just the equivalent to sin. You're falling short. We're falling short as humans in humanity calling. We have the audacity to call a loveless union, a loveless marriage, a marriage. It's not a marriage of any sort. Okay, y'all? You with me? You following me? Adultery, loveless marriage, they go hand in hand. The reason that there is adultery and adulterous is because the lack of love. Does that resonate? Making sense? And I want to bring back up that topic. We're going to stay right there because we all know the tuner inners, the insiders, because I'm dropping a fire insight. This is big. This is category five type stuff. Okay? A loveless marriage is sin. You're sinning against your wife, your husband, and ultimately the creator. If there's not love embodied in your relationship, your union, your marriage, you should be making profound love to your partner. Right? And love is subsequently the action of that emotional, spiritual, element that coexists between you and your partner then the act takes place right and then the ground shakes that's how it's supposed to go isn't that marvelous amazing so i wanted to drop this insight and this is huge like i said category five stuff the weatherman might report on this okay y'all adultery not being truly in love. Loveless unions have to go. Right? Why do I say they have to go? Because you're suffering. And you're just not letting it come to the surface and then taking action. The point of a relationship is because of love. Not because of superficial nonsense that seems to be more mainstream today. Right? 
a union or relationship doesn't come with a bank account. Right? A union or relationship doesn't come with certain labels of clothes. Right? Because you aren't marrying a house. You aren't marrying a bank account. All those things will go away if that's the case. The true motives, the ulterior motives always come to surface. They always come to surface. Always come to surface. It just eventually boils up. So be true to yourself. So you can truly be involved with another partner that's true to themselves and then embody true love. Okay? Adultery, sin, loveless relationships fall in the same category. And that's my insight. Okay, y'all? Thanks for tuning in as always. Like, comment, share it. Subscribe to it. Let me hear some feedback. I'm going to sound off. Turn down. Intuitive insights. Much, too much love as always. Have a blessed day.